This is Abdul from Mali who does his research in France. He's a PhD student and this is Vicky from Kenya. Um, she's recently submitted her master's and waiting for her results and she also works um, in Kenya as a research assistant. They um, attended the IDA this year. I think both of you this was your first time. This is my first time. Did yeah, you enjoy it? It was very much fun. I think what what were the highlights of the course for you? All the, the lectures were really nice, especially the round table discussion was like the most fun I've ever had in a conference and workshop. Yeah, and you, what was your experience? Was your friend speaker, right? Yes. Yeah. So what so was your experience really coming? Doing this, uh, these few days, I, I can say that my English level is improved. So and I. I learn a lot about uh, infectious disease also, uh-huh. especially in TB, HIV, and malaria. So, yeah, so. And your, what's your research in? My research, current research, so I work in the, in the regulation of uh, specific macrophages in the left node and spleen. Uh-huh. So it is just for, for analyzing, studying the, the homeostasis the development during the different stage of the of the development especially in mouse model so it is quite different uh, of the, the, the term of this symposium but uh, I, I, I I found some link yeah. between what I'm doing for my PhD yes. and what can I can I can I do with everything I learned during yes. this summary for Functionally studies in my in my my on my mouse model in my lab. Okay. So. That's good. And for you, Vicky, what research do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I investigated the effect of schistosomiasis, a chronic schistosomiasis yeah. infection on the immunogenicity of the HPV vaccine. Because in Kenya next year they will be having a HPV program. Kenya is a schistosomiasis endemic area, and many studies have shown that schistosomiasis tends to affect the efficacy of vaccines. And we wanted to see whether that can affect the community before all these vaccines are rolled out and they might not really work. Okay. okay, and you work in Mapaks or in the baboons? In baboons. How big are these baboons? They are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> so you female baboons are not that aggressive. When they come to me, they're sedated. Okay. <laughs> so I just carry them in the vet, yes. gets the blood samples, then I bring them. Okay. And you're both immunopedia ambassadors. So what does being an ambassador mean to you guys? <laughs> being an um, immunopedia ambassador. So I, I I really heard about immunopedia for the first time when I made. Uh, Way in Morocco, yes. so yeah, and uh, before it was doing uh, a meeting there yeah. about uh, cancer immunotherapy. So bef- be- before this 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 meeting, um, I've received some invitation from Bon Hotel to complete some courses on yeah. immunopedia page. So and I. I found immunopedia really very, very, uh, say, very interesting. So, yeah. for example, if you are going to a symposium, so or another meeting, so you can have some specific uh, courses in immunopedia pages to have the background and to, to be uh, ready for the courses and f- to be uh, an immunopedia ambassador so, um, so I, I my definition is to be uh, investigated in yeah. for sharing in, in mean, uh, docu- I mean to say document yeah. information and uh, to participate also in the Elaborating some resources about uh, different knowledge about different fields in the immunology. Right? So, for example, we can, if, 
if there is a, a new paper that has come to be published, yeah. for example, in my feeds, I I can summarize to, and to share with uh, other, other people in the, the community. So, yeah, so for me, that's the value that you see in Immunopedia. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and for you, Vicky? Uh, I first heard of Immunopedia last year when I went to the Africa Congress in Tunisia. I got to meet Professor Kwebwe. Uh -huh. He gave a presentation on that and said whoever is interested can send us email. I sent it and like a few weeks later I was accepted as an ambassador. <laughs> it was so much fun. And what I liked about uh, Immunopedia is how Immunology information is easily accessible in one area. Yeah. Before you have to go to sites, open access, I yeah. mean, papers that are not really available. Yeah. It's all condensed nicely in short notes. Mm -hmm. And I've also shared with some of the JCOT students and stuff, they really like it. Yeah, like it's, a very, it's a very nice tool, yes. Yeah, very, very nice very tool. Very nice tool, especially if someone wants to learn the basics first, mm -hmm. each step. You can gradually move to the higher step. So, why did you decide to then um, do research in immunology? Like, what made you want to become a scientist? I remember in high school I wanted to be a vet first. Yeah. And I was seeing a documentary about research. I said, this looks fun. To teach. <laughs> so I went into undergrad, I went into biomedical sciences, and then we had one unit in immunology. It was so much fun and easy for me. Then we advanced to another, it was um, advanced immunology unit. Yeah. And then I said, I'm taking immunology for masters. <laughs> then that's that gradually built. Okay. Yeah. And you, Abdu, what made you focus on immunology? So, for the first time, I, I'm, when I moved from, from Mali to France, uh, I planned to do the medicine, some studies to, to become a physician. Yeah. So, and uh, it was difficult for different regions. So. And uh, I, I, I start my university in biology, so it was really, really uh, broad. broad so. yes. And when I, I discovered immunology, so I had some courses uh, in immunology. I was. And uh, uh, I find a, a, some some kind of link between immunology and my my passion for to be physician. Yes. So, and vaccine development is uh, also very uh, so in my immunological courses. Uh, I, I I've also learned about vaccine development. So, and uh, I and this interest really me to the field of, of the of immunology so that's why i i i decide to to do my master in the for 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 my master i i, I applied for master in immunology but mm -hmm. uh, in some university it was really selective so i was accepted in other formation in parasitology and immunology but not in immunology <laughs> so during my courses also in parasitology and mycology, we had some courses in immunoparasitology or yes. immunomycology. So, and uh, after this uh, this master, I say anyway, I'm going to find a way to do the immunology. Yes. So, <laughs> so I <laughs> I apply for some PhD uh, application in immunology. So it is really a, a field that interests me since I start to discover it. It at the beginning of my study uh, at the university. Yeah, no, it is true that most of the time we don't know that's an actual degree and of course you can do it only when you come yeah, to university yeah. and I'm like, oh, actually, this is what I want to do. In life. <laughs> to read widely. Read widely. Read yes. widely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is too much uh, information in Immunopedia different fields so I have to be courageous and as he said read too much yeah and also remember you need to read all the papers yeah. <laughs> who said that i think it was richard or mike Betts said that you know you know these things but you yeah, need you to read to all back. 
just to make sure that what they said is actually correct. Yes. Um, With immunology, new things keep coming up all the time. You have to keep track of all of it. And there's so many different fields. Like, you can't, like, I do TV sometimes. I'm like, I don't know what's happening in HIV. (laughs) And at least immunopedia lets me read up things I'll never normally do because my PhD is just too much work. But um, thank you guys for being to be interviewed. Thank you. Thank you.